All right, what's up, everybody? Um, turns out here I'm gonna be doing some FL Studios again. Hopefully, my mic is loud enough for y'all to hear. I'm gonna adjust it a little bit here. Um, cool. All right, and my desktop audio. Here we go. Okay, cool. That should be up. Let me see if y'all can hear something. Hopefully, that can be heard into the stream. Um, so yeah, I don't, uh, I, if y'all weren't here last week, um, I basically just started, uh, just messing with, um, FL Studios here, and we were kind of looking at, like, the different sounds they offer, the different sounds, different instruments, um, I have a MIDI keyboard right here, and that's what I've been using, but you can plug in instruments of your own, um, drum machines, pads, whatever you want, which is really cool, so yeah, so, Unfortunately, we had some issues with recording, and it, it was doing this weird thing where every time I recorded, the sound wasn't coming through my headphones. I have a good feeling it's going to happen again this week, so we'll take a look. It might turn into uh, a tech session where we kind of troubleshoot what's wrong with the software, but hopefully that doesn't happen and we can actually do some like cool music stuff. So yeah, um, so yeah right here I have some... Um, some different synths loaded up. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm trying to find the one. There's a really cool one I liked last week, and I'm trying to find it again because uh, it was it's it sounded really fun. And I, it, I believe it was one of these. Um, definitely wasn't this one. Uh, let me see. So I can go here to replace and replace it with different ones. It wasn't this flex one. Um, even though there were some cool sounds from there. Uh, was it Toxic Biohazard? No, it was not this. Um, I do like this, like, the look of this, though. It reminds me of, uh, kind of early sound systems, like, in the glass container at, at your grandparents' house or something, but... Alright, I like that, so I'm gonna keep it there. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I do like that sound, so... I think that was, yeah, Toxic Biohazard. Um, it wasn't Transistor. Sorry, I'm gonna be taking a moment here to kind of find the, um, the scent that I had last week that I really liked. Uh, oop, I tried that one, my bad. Um, let me see, go down to replace again. I think it might have been one of these, actually. Um, let me see, oh. I think it was the, uh, no. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> was it this one? Ah, it was this one. Okay, cool. Yeah. And it was the creep show, I think. That was. So yeah, okay, so I kind of, I think this is a fun ambient noise to mess around with. So I want to see what kind of uh, sound editing I can do with it, or just, just with the um, controller right here, and then we can kind of, after recording, we can go in and actually mess with editing the sounds. So I think, so yeah, I'm just gonna adjust this to see if I find something that I like. Um, I don't really have in mind any idea of what to make so i'm just going to try and pick different instruments that sound cool and see what we can throw together This is the trial version, uh, so 
Uh, we need to get the full version installed, but it hasn't messed with us since, so or it hasn't like messed up anything yet. So it's I think it should be fine for now. Turn that decay down a little bit, reverb. What's cool about these is some of them have like graphics, you know. That's cool. I wonder what the pitch thing on the MIDI does. Cool, okay, so it's just the pitch, yeah. Okay, cool. I like I kinda like that sound. Um I'm going to get rid of that one. Wait, is that uh, did, I, did I like this one? Yeah. How's it going? Things seem to be looking good. Uh, haven't run into any technical difficulties yet, so. All right, um, okay, cool. I kind of want to get a more like actual sound on there rather than like some ambient stuff, so. So that thing, I have this right here. this right here um okay so cool I'm, I'm just gonna do two two I'm gonna keep adding stuff um I'm trying to look for I think this is a little bit too harsh to come in with something um, Let's give it a try. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and record this. Um, this is uh, last week is when we tried to record it. it was when it was being annoying uh, <laughs> and was like screwing us over. So I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna go ahead and record after I check out this that I randomly clicked on. <laughs> This is cool. Here's where, here we go. So how would you like to record? Um, ah, I'm gonna click this just to have it open. Um, sorry, I don't know if you saw that, but it just took me to a open screen because I don't want to screw this up. Okay, I'm gonna go into the playlist as an audio clip. Um, ah, okay. Uh, let me see, input, output. I need to remember this. Um, there is. Let me see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Device ASO devices. Um, I'm gonna click this. See what that is. Cool. Okay. Ch -ch 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 
I'm gonna try and record it into Edison because that's being annoying. Interesting. Okay. So it says the uh, audio recording requires audio inputs. This will only work through ASI drivers. Um. Let me see something. Real quick. Oh, uh, this is, where is the delete button? Okay, whatever. What is cool is you can like do that type of deal. Um, so you can, you can kind of build like a little beat song here. Um, So yeah, you can't do that, but it doesn't record anything. It's just kind of loops on the track, so. Um, so yeah. Uh, yes, the, I'm, I'm just working on the main uh, FL Studios page. I, I'd gotten a, uh, a tutorial, got automatically thrown up, um, and that's what I was referring to. I'll probably take a look at that in a second, though, because uh, I want to record um, stuff from the keyboard and it doesn't it says it needs to be in ASIO driver um and if I click on something besides the speakers it doesn't like it and I can't I can't hear anything in my speakers so I'm about to go through the tutorial real quick I'll switch my screen so y'all can see that um let me see browser window okay Hold on one second. Ah, there you go. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, so Fruity Loops has, or yeah, FL Studio is very Fruity Loops. They have like a usual tutorial page. Um, it gets automatically thrown up. Um, so it says it. So this is about recording external audio sources. So I do have a MIDI keyboard with me right now in front of me. So that definitely constitutes as an external audio source, I think. Unless it means like audio coming from outside of the computer versus me using a MIDI keyboard to make sounds in the computer. But I think I'm gonna. Yeah, we'll we'll take a look at this real quick. And see. Uh, okay. So it says it wants this uh, ASI. Uh, okay. Um. Da -da -da -da. Let me see. All right, I'm gonna go back into free loops real quick. Take a look. Okay. I'm gonna add another keyboard just to play with while I fiddle. Um. Let's see. Okay, <sighs> so I want to record, um, what does this do? Hmm. Let me hover, this is a... Uh... Ah! Let me, let me, let me, 
gotcha. Yeah. I can't hear this through my It seems like I have to have the speakers in order to hear what I'm playing. So I'm gonna go back to that tutorial page and read through it really quickly. Um cause or a little bit more, but because it doesn't seem like uh that's working. Cool, okay. So they do have a specific thing for recording to itself on the keyboard. Um, yeah, I, in terms of like sounds I'm going for, I'm not too sure right now. I think um, kind of feeling like more ambient stuff right now. Uh, but I, I do want to play some like more catchy things, but kind of just like a more ambient setting i think i, I want to see if i can mess around with like actual sounds and like noise rather than just like playing notes over one another um so i think that would be a good way to show that is just by going for a more ambient kind of song so yeah um let me switch the window real quick um so y'all can see what i'm looking at cool i know this is not the most oops it's black one second Okay, I know this isn't the most fun thing to look at, but <sighs> okay. So connecting your controller, we've already got it connected. Um, okay, the node is just for. Oh, okay. So in song mode, the pattern click will automatically be placed at the point where playback started from after recording the stop. Makes sense. Cool. Input coin and I know it's precise timing. Okay, that's just telling us about, you know, letting go of a note and like the timing of it. <clears throat> so, okay. Right click to make sure note is selected as recording type. So it seems like I need to right click this and do, that's why. I think this is why it's asking me for a uh, ASIO. <sighs> it's still telling me. Okay. You would try. Oh. I'm just going to go through here to see if I can hear anything. Uh, This seems to work. Let's see if this real tech works. Um, are we still okay? I'm gonna get rid of clips, audio. I'm right clicking this button. Um, oh, also, sorry, I forgot to switch it back. Uh, let's see, let me switch this back to FL Studios real quick. Um, cool, okay. Okay, so yeah, all I did was I switched it. The I, I switched an ASI, uh, yeah, ASIO driver. Um, I'm gonna see if this will record. So, audio input. Okay, cool. Please select the audio input first. Try this way. Okay, that seems to work. Let's see. Cool. Okay. All right. Um. Uh, oh. No, no, no. I don't want to record. Ah, stop. <laughs> okay. Cool. What did I just do? I think I just screwed this up. Record a bit. Um. I'm gonna exit out of that. Okay. Cool. Pause. Okay. I can still hear it, so that's good. Um, let me try that again. Um, uh, and it's still doing this. Okay. Let me see. How do I delete this? Uh, 
Okay, I don't know what's going on here, so I'm going to try and record it as an audio clip. Okay, cool. Cool, okay, sweet. All right, so that works, which is good. Um, we actually am able to record it without uh, messing, messing up anything. So, oh, and you can actually have it down here as okay as like a drum beat thing which is interesting oh it's not gonna do anything okay all right whatever oh maybe i have to do pattern Let's see this <laughs> yeah it sounded bad um that's just because it was with the rest of the stuff did it Cool, okay. So. All right, let's see if we can get some like weird stuff. So I'm gonna record just to sound. Um, Should edit this. Um, where? Oops, I need to click that. Um, cool. Okay. So, sweet. Okay. Cool. So, let me see. What? Continue scrolling. Yeah, this is, I think this button right here is how you, it's multi link, is how you do the linking keys on the. linking keys uh, to, to actual things. Um, and this is, yeah, this is the countdown. Blend recording, you can loop it. You can, uh, metronome. Okay, and th that's keyboard to piano, which we don't need that. Okay, cool. Oh, um, so yeah, uh, you can like kind of see that this button right here pulls up the actual like keyboard of it. Um, and you can like add notes and different things um go room like up and down i think that's what that does uh so yeah okay um oops we don't want that Oop, that is this right here the that this is the mixer right up here this is like a file system you know um tempo tapper if you wanted that so yeah okay cool um uh, uh, ta -ta. let me see if I want to. Okay, here we go. Cool. So I think the Edison is how you actually do these. Um, like, uh, more in depth, um, I should say. So let me see. Let me see if I can record something in um, Edison. And yeah, you can play the keyboard by uh, clicking clicking on it and you can also play it through like a mechanical keyboard keyboard which it can be funky oh it's a little tricky but also i don't i don't <laughs> to be honest with y'all i don't like this sound that much but i don't want to be nitpicky and spend the whole time trying to find specific sounds that that my ears like so i'm gonna stick with this one sorry um let me switch the keyboard so that it doesn't do that when I hit stuff, so. Cool. Uh, so yeah, let me, let's, uh, let's do some recording through Edison and then see what we can do there too. Cool, okay. So, let's see. I'm gonna delete that, delete this right there. Cool, yeah, I don't care. 
and we're gonna record through. Oh, we want to do song. Um, record through Edison. Cool. Okay. And then. Cool. Cool. Okay. So, let's see what we can do on here. Um, I'm assuming this is how we can like actually edit what plays. So let's see. See if that works. Yep. Cool. Okay. And I'm assuming that's where it kind of jumps. We can adjust this here. And that should, I believe. Let's see. I don't know what that's doing, but let's do that. Cool, okay. So, alright. Um, that's save, cut. This is tools, regions, let's see. Oh, whoa, okay. Let's reverse polarity. See what that does. Oh yeah, that doesn't do anything. Um. Or, I don't know how to use it. Um. So you can fade in, fade out. So let's fade in. Control F. Um, control F. Okay, so yeah, see how it's kind of like adjusting that? And I, I, I'm assuming Control Out is Fade Out, but let me see. Uh, fade in, Fade Out, Alt F. Oh, Alt F. Okay. Oh, ah, no, 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 no. There to there. Alright, so Alt F. Oh. Alright, it seemed to not like that. And now it doesn't want to go back. Cool. Well. Wow. Um Okay. Uh so note to self don't <laughs> if you fade it in too much it's not gonna like you doing that and you won't be able to undo it. Oh uh, it only see it seems like it only undoes one at a time, but Cool. Let's see what that sounds like. That's really quick. Cool. Toothbrush. Whoa, you can get a noise profile. Okay, that's sick. Oh, look at these. Okay, this is cool. Um, I don't know. I want to play this, but I guess this is a denoiser, but like that's cool. I that that just looks cool, um, in my opinion. So I guess it like you know, um, does some funky math to figure out what what the noise form is uh so cool fun all right um let's i guess we could do some more stuff um without messing it up by doing that uh, fade in fade out so um i the the part that i recorded got like shoved down to something really small because i faded it in so that yeah, I kind of messed it up on my part. Um, I'm going to adjust the noise on here. I want to make it more noisy. Um, so I'm going to turn everything up. Oop, not that, not that. That was the wrong one. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Yeah. I'm gonna try and go for another. I'm gonna see what else they have. Um, Ooh, that's weird. <laughs> okay, cool. These are all the sounds you can get from this one, which is pretty crazy. Um, what I like about this this uh, this one too, this Venus, is that you can adjust it yourself. So you can like...
cool. That sounds cool. Um, it sounds like I'm about to sell y'all some crystals for like five hundred dollars. Uh, but I don't know. It it, it might be. It, I might be able to turn this into something cool. That uh. <laughs> if I was to start a cult, that would definitely be like the interest, the intro to to the cult, you know. Like, come join, come join the NCSU Libraries cult. Uh, it's in the basement floor, but cool. Okay, I like that. Um, so let's go, let's go ahead and record. Um, into Edison. Oh, ah, so I already had this one. I think this is, yeah, this is why you weren't able to hear it because it was just like really short. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Oh, wrong key. Where's the delete? Okay, there we go. Okay. So here we go. Three, two. Is it looping there? If I move this song jump, is it gonna loop less? Cool, there we go. Alright, I don't like this part, I'm gonna get rid of it. So, let's figure out how to cut things. No, we do not want to do that. Undo. Okay. Um, cut. Okay, so let's uh cut Control X. Let's Control X this right there. Control X. And that cut it in the way I did not want it to. Wait, no. Did it cut it right? Let's see, Control X. Nope. Okay. I want to cut this right here yeah there we go cool so we want that to play cool all right um now the next part is getting this onto here I don't know if it's automatically gonna do it or if it's um if it's just gonna stay up here. So, let me, I, I don't know if y'all can see when my mouse is up here, um, kind of tells you what is going on here. So undo button, normalize, fade out, time stretch, blur, what does that do? I'm gonna mess this up. I'm gonna mess my audio recording up just to see what this does, so. Let's see. What does this do? Uh oh. Why is it doing that? Cool. I like that sound. Um, this is add marker, audio slicing, save as. Uh, send to playlist. There we go. Okay, cool. I'm gonna throw that there too. Cool. Okay. Let's go back to the general. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Oh, we did it here. Okay, cool. Uh, I screwed up because these are now the only things I have. 
on there, but that's okay. So. Oh, cool. Okay. So I'm going to add some drums. Kind of like a deep sounding thing, maybe. Oh. I like that, so. So yeah, maybe we can like. this kick. I want it to be like deeper though. Um, no, that's not. Right. So let me see if I can. So I wanted to see how fast I could get this to go. Like that sounds too bloody. Um, pin that there. What is this do? Can't really hear anything. Oh. Yeah, there's some like it pitches up a little bit. channel rack. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, I wanted to do something like that. I don't, it sounds a little muddy and my timing is not right. Um, I wonder if there's a way to extend this out. What is this flex? Oh, okay. Ooh, this is cool. I wonder if I can extend this out a little bit. Um, cool. That sounds good. Um, I don't know what that last note was on up there. So, uh, uh oh. It seems you can't hear the audio. Give me one second here. Um, um, 
here. Tell me, can you hear this? Were you able to hear that? Ah, okay. Hmm. Let me try something real quick then. Oh, uh, where were we? Options, MIDI settings, audio. I'm going to switch it. This is real tech. I seem to remember that. Okay. Are you able to hear that? Okay, cool. All right, I think I know what the problem is. Um, I think the desktop audio on the streaming OBS thing is pro is hooked up maybe to the to the same audio output as the headphones. Um, uh, that would be a guess is potentially what happened what's happening. So give me a second. I can uh, I can go into OBS and see if I can switch it over to the uh, the other thing. So. Let me see here. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Uh, let's see. Audio output capture. Yep, real tech audio. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick. I'm gonna do a quick. Okay, so we can hear that. Now let's see if we can hear this when I switch it over to real tech. Are you able to hear that? Okay, you can't hear that. Okay, that's, ah, there is no audio coming out of it, okay. It sounds like it. All right, I'm gonna try something else then. Let me kill that. Okay, let's see if this works. Can you hear that? Hmm. Okay, so it, is, it seems like, okay. Oh, give me one second here. Let me try something. Can you hear that? No, hmm, okay. Da, 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 da. I'm just uh, yeah I'm just troubleshooting here. Um, how about this? Still no. Hmm. All right, let me go to properties and I'm switching that over to the digital real tech digital output. Let's see this. Let's try this. Um. Are you able to hear that? Yeah, it's um, <clears throat> I think it it it, it was uh, at the beginning. I had the audio on FL Studios to the speaker headphones, and I'm pretty sure you can definitely hear that one. But once I switch it to the Realtek ASIO to record in here, it it doesn't want to come out through. Um, the streaming thing. So, Ooh, wait a minute. Let me try that again then. 
Are you able to hear this? Uh, one second here, okay. Nothing. Okay. Let me switch this desktop audio out back to. Hmm, okay. How about this? Okay, cool. So, let me see if I can go back to. Uh, Okay, are you able to hear this? Okay, it looks like it's coming out. Alright. Um, how are you able to hear this? Okay. Cool, okay. So now I'm going to switch this to the Realtek ASIO. And I have one OBS... Um, the real tech, but okay, that's not gonna work. I can already tell. Okay, um, let me see something here. Let's try this. No. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just going through all the the sound properties to try and get this thing working um try this you know nope Jeez. i don't think you're able to hear this can you Um, let me see, properties, I don't, honestly, um, I think for now I can just keep, I'll just, I'll have to record, when I record something I'll have to record it with this and not be able to hear it, um, and then switch it back so that y'all can hear it after I'm done, um, to the non-ASI or sound output because um, it seems like OBS doesn't want to pick up this real tech but it does pick up this so yeah cool okay sweet so um let me, <clears throat> are you able to, I want to do one more thing real quick. Um, let me know, are you able to hear the this little audio bit that I recorded? Are you able to hear that? Hmm, okay. Okay, cool, so. Uh, I know what's going on now. Um, well, it, sorry, I don't know what's going on, but I can definitely like work around this, um, so you guys can hear this. So, yeah, this is. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I kind of, I don't know what uh, the last note I played on this was. Um, so I'm going to try and figure it out. But, mm, uh, wait, it wasn't through that nose. It wasn't through that one. What was it through?
edit this in um, Edison again so give me one second I'm gonna get a sip of water figure out how to do this extend this last part right here uh, so I am going to load sample question mark nope okay where is the Edison thing um those are just bringing it oh cool okay sweet all right there we go um let's uh into playlist let's edit the second one just in case if I screw up I can you know redo it oh okay so no 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 there you go I want to save this right here probably this last part um I just want to copy paste it over a bit uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it but control oops I cut the part out that oh, okay so yeah see I screwed up <laughs> so go here delete yep delete that uh what was that how did I get there um open new audio there we go okay cool so I want to cut out that that's what I want to cut cut that okay cool so now when I do this it's cool okay let us what is what does reverb do whoa I don't know what that does that looks cool um Yep, that looks cool. I don't know what this is doing, but we're gonna do that, see what happens. Whoa, cool, sick. Okay, uh, listen, yeah. Send this to uh, send that there. Cool. It'd be cool if hmm. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna cut this middle part see what that does all right I'm gonna I want to turn this into a little drum beat here so I'm gonna cut this I'm gonna do like a dun 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 or something um Let's see. Oh, 
let's cut let's cut let's cut this wait we're hold up sorry um i want to cut this part out and see what that sounds like well, let's just cut it all out here up to there see what that does Uh, let's cut this maybe no oops I don't want to cut that I want to cut all this yeah Cool. All right, I like that sound. It's weird. Um, so what we could do is we could get that and then just like keep copy, Control C, Control. Ah, nice. So you can. So we can have something like. What if you could? No, you can't extend it. Um. Oh, time stretching. Uh, no. What does this do? Oh, interesting. Um, I I think that just, yeah. Yeah, that's just okay. Whatever. I'll mess with that later. Um. So yeah. So what I'm doing. Uh, this is gonna sound bad, but I'm just kind of getting an idea of what this will sound like. I'm definitely off beat with whatever. So let's start it here. This is gonna be not good, but. Yeah, okay. And I bet you I could slide him closer for a more ter oop, terrible sounding effect. Uh, so if we drag this here and go. Yeah, this would be, okay, actually, I know what I want to do with this. Um, this would be a cool one of these right here. So if we go back to pattern. I have this little pattern that I made earlier. Um, thank you. I like the repeating quality too. It, it's like, it, it's cool. It would be cool if I could get it work working i have like this idea in my head right now about how i want this to sound now and it's obviously not gonna sound like that at all uh but let uh let's see what it sounds like repeating we can get this Okay, this, that, like, whoa, 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 like that right there might be cool to have just, like, as a tool for later. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it right now. It might be cool mixed in, but I I think it's, yeah, it's kind of cool Um, just to have. So, yeah, all right, uh, cool. Um, Let's see. Oh yeah, this is the fun one with the little pictures. Wait, what is this? So B, I think so. <laughs> 
extend this song or this like last sample too um, for further so what I'm gonna have to do I think is probably like copy paste the ends like I was doing here but as you can tell it's gonna come up with like a repeating sound so we're gonna have to figure out a way to kind of get it's it's choppy um, oop. It's very choppy. Uh, let's see, where, where's the... Um, uh, here we go. Okay, yeah, it's very choppy here because it's like jumping from the beginning to the end. Um, so yeah. So instead of just like extending, uh, you know, we might be able to extend this. Um, no, not that one. We we'll go with this one. Uh, it's not that. Wait, what? Um. Oh shoot! No, no, there we go. Okay. Uh, I thought I deleted it there for a second. Um. Let me see. God, this is weird. Like. It's saying that, like, um, I edit, hey, there we go. Yeah, I go to edit this, this longer form, and it says that it's like, hey, like, this is, um, it's actually the smaller form that you did, that you cut it down to, not the original. So, I don't know, I can't zoom out. So, I don't know what in the world is going on here. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to, here, I'm, I'm going to save this as something. And then try and edit it off that. Uh, I'm just gonna see this. Da, 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 da. It won't let me see. Okay, that's okay. Uh, hmm. This is interesting. It's not wanting to. Oh, here we go. Okay, section. We want to do the whole section. So, what is claw machine? Let's see what that does. Whoa, okay, that's cool. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, regions, tools. Yeah, oh, wait, we could time stretch. Here we go. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay. So it literally does time stretch it, um, which means that like you know the pitch kind of goes up like a little bit. Um, yeah, pitch drum, drum loop stretch. What does that do? Nothing. Scratch. Nothing. Um, denoise. What does that do? Mm, you can barely hear that. Uh, blur equals clean up. We already blurred it um, earlier, so. Alright. Uh, fade out.
Mm. Cool for for that. Um, on play. Uh, okay, so where is the rest of this thing? Um. Okay, uh, cool. Well, I'm gonna exit that. Yeah, this is weird. I don't know why it's doing this. I wanna be able to edit the actual. Here. All right, I'm gonna record something really quick. Um, unfortunately, oh, thanks. <laughs> Conveyor belt sound, yeah. Um, I'm gonna, I don't know if you're here for this, but it's uh, OBS is acting weird where I have to switch in order to record. Um, I have to switch over from the headphones into Realtek ASIO. Unfortunately, when I switch over here, you can't actually hear, people on the stream can't hear what I'm playing, um, but I, it doesn't seem to not let me record without doing it. So, I'm going to switch over here real quick, um, just to do something, and I'll show you what I'll do. You can still see me on the screen, it's just you can't hear the keyboard. Um, kind of takes a little bit of pressure off me, uh, haha, because, you know, you guys can't hear me, but it's okay. That was kind of a joke. Okay, um, oop, I don't don't want to do that don't want to do that um also it's being really loud at the very end so i'm going to need to go into this wave or not wave but like the actual audio file and see okay um so i want to do this cool
did not like how that sounded. Oops, uh, that was my fault. I accidentally did it as the that. Um, there we go. That's what we want. I can show you what I was doing. I was just, I honestly was messing around. Um, this kind of isn't really the sound I want to go for the second part. Um, I'm going for more, let me switch this over real quick so y'all can hear audio settings, speaker headphones. Um, oop. Yeah, I'm going, I want to go for more like a vapor wavy type thing at the end of this. So like it comes in and then it's like, you've got some like, kind of vapor wavy drums, bum bum bum. Um, and I was messing around with some sounds earlier to see if I can make it. I'm pretty sure I could find the right sound on here. There's definitely one, but, um, uh, oops, no, uh, ah. uh, but what I did do was, I thought this sounded cool, so I added to it. There is a big audio spike at the beginning, so I apologize for that. I think I might throw it in later on here. So yeah, so it's kind of got this, like, that. Oh, I realized something. Okay, so, apparently, if you record while this audio clip is active, but I'm playing, like, jazz guitar, it's going to record this as, uh, as well as the jazz, the jazz thing. So, for future note, I need to turn that off so it isolates the track that I'm actually recording. Cool. Um, so yeah, let's see, okay, cool, um, I don't like how this thing spikes at the beginning, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit it, uh, again, it's still, I'm having this issue too, where, uh, it, it's only grabbing part of the waveform that I cut earlier, I like trimmed it down to a short, to the, um, which does kind of sound cool in my opinion. It's very like, uh, so, uh, but it doesn't, it, it's part of this first, uh, audio clip that I, um, recorded, but I cut it down and then in Edison, every time I try and reopen this one, it's like, nah, we're, we're going to keep it at the shorter wavelength and not at the full noise clip. So I'm, I think right now I'm just going to try and figure out how to like extend that, um, about that uh so to see to try and like get this you know working again so i can cut down on that beginning part if not i can re-record it which is okay oh uh, so yeah so yeah let me see um i don't hmm. i might have to google something real quick because like i don't know what, what it was doing there I might just re-record this. I mean, like, this was literally, like, three seconds. Um, if I can get it. It wasn't the... It wasn't that one. It was, uh... Nope. I think it's this one. I think it was that. That kind of sounds like this. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna turn these off, and I'm gonna record a new thing. So I'm gonna have to switch it back. 
Sorry. Okay, so ah. let me go back to audio settings. So yeah, I've got this pretty simple thing that I just recorded. So trim off the beginning, um, right there. We'll cut that using this cut cool. Um, cool and what was the there's some fun like let me see I'm gonna try something real quick um there's this little this thing claw so I'm gonna do this and see what it does Okay, cool. I think I did that. Cool. So I <laughs> it does kind of sound like the beginning of Pete. Um, <laughs> I didn't notice that. So I kind of want to extend this, um, like this little section right here. Uh, but you can definitely hear the difference between that the beginning and the end, obviously. So there's got to be a way of stretching this and making it. I mean, I could, I guess, I could just like hold the note down. Um, I don't know. Let me let me go uh, send the playlist. Yeah, cool. So that's this track right here. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find some other stuff to like play over this. Um, looking for a very specific sound. So. Mm. Eh, not really. Um, are there more of these? No, okay. Let me see. Keep that where they are. Um, yeah, I'm definitely looking for something more deeper. What I really like this, uh, oh, it sounds cool. Huh. Um, I really like this 808 kind of like. I really like this this sound. This is probably the closest thing that I want. Oh. Yes, patience is a virtue. Um, sometimes I don't know. I feel like I could sit here for an hour and try and get the right sound, 
and then not know what to do with it when I found it. Um, I'm at like the point where I kind of have an idea of what I want this to start to sound like, but actually getting it from in my head onto sounding what I want it to is uh, going to be tricky. But that's just part of the process, you know. Um, cool. I like this, but I wish it was more oomphy, if that makes sense. It's kind of, uh, it doesn't hit hard enough, in my opinion. So, I'm going to try and work with that and see what I can do. mess with the envelope here which would be cool so that this this right here this initial thing I wish it was kind of like bigger or this this right here um I just wanted to hit a little bit harder like that the last part of this sound, um, I wish it went on for longer. Uh, and I don't know enough to kind of do that. So I'm going to mess around here and see what I can do with this 808. Um, maybe I can do a saw too. a little bit harder. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Is there one or am I tricking myself? Yeah, it sounds like there's a little one. No, that's just the pitch. Huh, there's more stuff I can do. Cool. Could I EQ it to make it more punchy? Um, let me see. Da, 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 da. I was trying to figure out what these were doing earlier. Um, the mod X and mod Y. I, actually, I couldn't figure it out because it all kind of kind of sounded similar. Um, but yeah. Let me see. There's. I think this is. Uh, let's see. That's just yeah. I don't know what this does. can ar arpeggiate this it seems like which is cool ah, it's on one. It kind of sounds like rain. I don't know. It's it's uh similar to like 
having a rain uh, background on. Cool, okay, so let me start here. Oop. Still sounding a little hollow when like in here. So I might turn the volume on this down. So like kind of like uh, squish the the sound and make the 808 kick a little bit more louder in comparison to this. Um. Oop. Oh, I did not want to do that. Um. I have to remember to click these or else it's gonna play that by accident um so yeah let me let me take a look at that let me figure out oops let me figure out how to do that so i could reopen this in edison and uh i could uh, i could fade out if i i wish i knew how to control the fade because it's gonna faded a lot and also you can only do one on do so let me see how this sounds mm. yeah i have to undo it before you select it because if i select the whole audio for it it's only going to undo the select like say undo select so oh wait i didn't fade it out um Oh, I see. Okay. So if I want this part to fade out, like a very small part, I just have to select it and then fade that out. So yeah, don't like that. Um, what if I could fade out like this? Let's see. Let's see what that does. I don't like how it fades it to zero. I wish you could kind of control. Yeah. Um, the whole thing. Let me see if we, yeah, see, it's gonna go to zero there. And I don't like that. So, let me go to tools. Let me go to fade. Uh, blur. Um, I'm gonna blur this real quick just because it can sound good. Let's see what that sounds like, or if it might sound good. Um, I don't really know what the blur is doing, but it sounds kind of cool. Yeah, definitely got a more like um, noisy sound to it, which I like. I wonder what happens if I keep blurring it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that real quick. Actually, no, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a copy right there um so i won't screw this up by accident so i'm just gonna keep keep blurring this Control B. maybe offset it a bit too oh no that was not um whoa let's see what that does Yeah, def that sounds cool. Um, all right, I'm gonna keep. <laughs> I, I I really like um. Kind of, I don't want to say noisy noise, but like really like noisy sounds. If that makes sense, um, stuff with like lo-fi and a lot of like crackle and noise. Um. I guess you could you could say uh, so. I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep no I'm just gonna keep uh, blurring this to see what it does. I don't know if it's actually changing anything past a point. It doesn't seem like it is anymore. Um. Yeah. Oh well, I could. All right, let's do that. Let's see what that does.
Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me do it again. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm just really gonna mess with this. Uh, ah, okay. So, let me. I'm gonna try something here. It seems like, yeah, it seems like that's that. Unless there's this one right there. Yeah. Okay. I think it's just blurring it once. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just blurring it once. Um. Yeah, I don't think I was actually doing anything by um blurring it multiple times. Um. So yeah. Okay. Tune loop. Maybe that. Ah. So there we go. Okay, cool. So it has an automatic like loop tuner, apparently. So instead of like having a jumpy loop that turns into a drum machine rather than like a nice clean loop, you can just click that. It seems like it works. So that's cool. Cool, I like that. All right, I'm gonna send that to the thing. That's that right there. That was the one we were working on. That's the original, I'm gonna turn that off. Um, that's the second one. This is the final one. Um, so, let me see if this actually loops. Nope, it doesn't, okay. Oh, that's right, whatever. Um, Let's, uh, is there any way? Oh, I, I, okay, I know what I can do. What I can do is I can send this here again. So we have a copy. Um, and then what I can do is I can cut this out up to the loop. So right there, cut, oop, cut. And then when it loops, it should sound good. close it's close it's very close um to do um There is a little bit of a jump. Um, so, all right, preview. I think I'll work with this. Um, cool. I'll delete this one because I don't need that. Um, that's what track six. It's this, this, this one. Yep. Okay. Um, uh, I'm getting lost as to how much stuff I have here. Okay. So let me. Yeah, let me see if that actually works. Uh, we could overlap it, then like trick it into doing it. Although I doubt it, but let's see. It's like right there. Mm, yeah. I don't like that. Okay. 
let's see what it sounds like when it's not like that. It's right next to each other. Really group. There. Oh, do, 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 do. Yeah, it kind of does that jumpy thing. I, 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 I'm pretty sure FL Studios probably has a, uh, also it might, uh, yeah, okay, y'all can hear me. Um, it probably has like a blend option. Um, let me look it up real quick. I'm just gonna Google blend group FL Studios. Um, Okay, it seems like that was what it was. Um, also, like, shout out to the software engineers making this. Like, like, in order to write software that could detect when a good place to loop is and blend it together is probably is really hard. Um, probably has to do a lot of Fourier transforms. So. Yeah, r really impressive. Um, even for something as simple as this, it like, and, and I say simple kind of half jokingly because it's not. <laughs> like, I don't think writing code for this would be simple. <laughs> but they did it, so thank you. Yeah, I guess I'll. I guess I just have to keep working with this um, tune loop thing and see if I can get something done. Also, I'm gonna turn the volume down on my computer. Yeah, that sounds like who knows. Okay, what, what in the world does this sound like? I don't even know at this point. Um, <laughs> it kind of sounds the same. Um, yeah. Oops. Oh, uh, control Z. Okay, whatever. Um. That's the original one. This is another original one. Um, that, I'm gonna delete this. I'm just cleaning up my workspace here. Get that out, get that out. And then there's that, which I do like. Um, oops, let me, let me actually edit this real quick. <sighs> and it wants to do this. Um, and not the one I was, not this right here. Yeah. Which is strange. Yeah, I actually don't know how to switch between audio files on Edison, which is a little bit of my part. Um, uh, so let me see if I can figure this out. Um. Cause I want to edit this right here, or, or this one. Um. Let's see how this loop sounds right now here. Doing that like a little. Is there any way I can zoom in? Hmm. Is there a zoom anywhere? I wish they would like automatically click it, unless it is clicked and it's just making that noise. Yeah, see that dinner? It's in there. Uh, 
there there has to be a way to like select it and then clean it or something. I wonder if you can copy paste like the two audio files into one audio file, find the place where you or um not copy paste. I wonder if you could combine the two into one and find the place in the middle where they combined and like decrease that click sound. I think that's the way to go about it. How to do that? I'm not sure. Um so let me see. Let me see if I can figure that out. Also there's also the problem of like can't get Edison just to edit that. Like it's it's editing the that instead of this. But okay. There's two problems there. Um so yeah. Okay, cool. So I think the easiest thing to do is probably going to be able to s figure out how to switch Edison from this audio file, track four, oops, into uh, track five. Um, so I'm going to Google it. And I'm just going to be like, how to switch editing audio files, Edison, FL Studios. Let's see what that comes up with. Okay. Uh, and they have their own thing. Okay, so it seems like I can go to menu on this. Load sample. Perfect. See? Oh. Uh, uh, hmm. Hey, there we go. Paste mix envelope. Oh, okay. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna paste it. Let's see what that does. Paste mix envelope. That didn't do a thing. Okay. Whatever. Um. No, I don't want to trim it. Um. Boom. Insert silence. Huh. That's cool. Um, alright, it seems like I have to, like, load a sample into it, which is strange, I don't, it might be because I'm doing the free version, um, and I have to save each one of these as, like, a thing before I can open it in Edison, but I don't, it should be able to, like, uh, it should be able to... Hey, okay. I did save it. Um, hmm. Clear out the OIG equals player refer to it. Okay, yeah, that's the usual stuff. Um, da, 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 da. Let's see. Um, oh, Edison operates exclusively in RAM and is designed for working with samples or small songs. Okay. Yeah, it seems like I need to save this first. Um Oops. Oh, here we go. I just had to hit edit sample. Wow. Okay. That was way more difficult than it than um I found that more difficult than it actually was, sorry. Like, oop, I don't want to copy that. Um, let's see, okay. Perfect. Although there seems to be like a little bit of some right there. Yeah, right there. I see you. Right there. Cut that. Maybe up to there. Um... Like right there or something. Yeah, we'll do the we'll do the 
valid right there. Cut. Cool. So don't. So like it's easier. Cut that. Cut. Cool. All right. So now we've got a clean worm sound. I like this tool. Uh, I think it's a Venus one. Nope. Sorry. It's the chocolate one. Where's chocolate? Uh, replace. I think I got it. Reflex general oh uh, no it was on arc sign dark chocolate this one yeah I like I, I just like that. Oops. Um, yeah. Some some things are not good for chords. Like, it sounds very messy. But I want to play some scales. It's nice. But yeah, that, I just like that sound, so I don't know. This is cool too. sounds cool i'm gonna keep that uh digital rust i like that i don't know if it would work with this uh sorry sometimes i like uh, i'll get into these menus and be like oh this sounds awesome and just like sit there and play play with it wait did that not oh i forgot to save it oh well <laughs> Very messy. Um Uh yeah, that sounds really messy. I might I, I like this digital rust, I might throw it in somewhere elsewhere. Um but cool. Uh, okay. Um. So I did not actually save this edit. So, oh man, I'm running off on time. Um. Cool. I let me see. Wait, I did. I forgot to export it. That's what I did. Yeah. Cool. Um. That's this right here. We don't want that anymore. We can delete it. Okay. Take that, cool. Yeah, um, alright, so. Yeah, uh, cool. So, the other thing I wanted to do is figure out how to snap these together, but it looks like I'm running up on time, so. I think this is a good stopping point. Um, I've got this. I, I can. The funny thing about this is, like, I spent two hours doing this, but I could probably replicate it in, like, 15 minutes. Unfortunately, this is the trial version. So, I can't save my work, but I do know how to, yeah, wait, actually, I might be able to save this. Uh, I thought I wasn't able to. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, the funny thing about this is, like I said, I spent all this time trying to get this right, 
and I can probably replicate it in like 15 minutes now. But that's the, that's the I guess that's one of the things about learning. Um, get much quicker at it, but yeah. Yeah, um, so yeah, next time, I wanna try and figure out how to loop this sound. Um, I wanna kinda like have this intro fade in, have like some 808 kicks come in, like bum, 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 bum. And then have some more like maybe like atmospheric, vapor wavy, noisy chords come in somehow. Like I said, I kind of have a general idea of what I want, but I don't know until I hear it. And getting that idea to paper or to computer is the whole the whole magic of this, I guess. Um, so yeah, so yeah, thanks for uh, stopping by. We have um, we have streams like every day. You can check the library's website for more. Um, people do all sorts of things. There, there's a bunch of media stuff. There's video games. Like, we do it all. So, definitely check out some more of the stuff. I'll be here next Monday working on Fruit free Loops again. Um, thanks to those who moderated out there. And yeah, I uh, hope everybody has a good week. So, I'll see you later.